Hi kids, today I'm going to teach you about comparing and contrasting. You can compare and contrast a lot of different things. You can compare and contrast people and books and animals and weather and holidays and sports and all the things. You might be thinking, what does it mean to compare and contrast? Well, let me tell you. So comparing is when I'm looking at how things are alike. What do they have in common? How are they similar? So if I'm reading two books I'm, and I'm wanting to compare them, I need to think about what do these two books have in common? Do they have characters that are similar? Do they have a similar setting? Now, they might not have everything in common, but they might have little bits and pieces that they have in common. So comparing is finding out how two or more things are alike or similar. Contrasting is when we look at the differences. So think about fiction and nonfiction texts. While they are both books um, that we read, they're very different. So when we contrast, we look at the differences. We might think about how nonfiction gives us information and has photographs and has nonfiction text features, whereas fiction tells a story and has characters and a setting and maybe a problem and solution. So we look at how they are different when we contrast. This chant is going to help give you some words to really look for um, whenever you're comparing and contrasting, okay? So you're just going to repeat after me, and it goes like this. Compare and contrast. What's that, you ask? Compare and contrast. What's that, you ask? First, compare we will do. Compare we will do with also both similar, same, and two. With also both similar, same, and two. Good job. Next, contrast is what we got. Contrast is what we got with however, while, but, different, and not with however, while, but, different, and not. Good job. So you may have noticed that on the part of it when it says first and next, when you repeat, you leave out the first and next and that's just to get the rhythm. Okay, so let's try it one more time. All right, compare and contrast. What's that you ask? Compare and contrast. What's that you ask? First, compare we will do. Compare we will do with also both similar, same, and two, with also both similar, same, and two. Next, contrast is what we got, contrast is what we got with however, while, but, different, and not, with however, while, but, different, and not. Good job! I hope those words help you really be able to look for how you can compare and contrast to topics or to text or to characters, whatever it may be.